It is a brand new year. It's the end of a decade. It's 2020. And I am just so ready to make things happen this year. It's going to be our year. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Twyla. I do motherhood and lifestyle videos here on YouTube. That being said, you know, being a mom and having a toddler and a newborn, it's practically impossible lately for me to find a good time to film. So I've got the laundry going in the background, my newborn's making sounds beside me, and my son's in his bedroom playing. So if you hear noises in the background, that's mom life. We're just gonna jump right into things here. We're going to be talking about how to start off the new year on the right foot. So if you wanna start off the new year confident and build that momentum, then sit tight because we're about to get into it. Since, as I mentioned, I have a newborn, I had a lot of appointments right off the bat that I had to make, like her hearing test, her first pediatrician appointment, but also as it's the start of a new year, I had to make appointments for my son for his yearly checkup, and then I had to make appointments for myself, and then it just occurred to me that in order to start the new year off on the right foot, I wanted to make all of my appointments just immediately just all in one day make all of the appointments i can think of for the year so that's my first recommendation for you is to just get all of your appointments booked and out of the way and you guys believe it or not my husband has not had like a checkup or a physical or anything in over like 10 years so i just went ahead and booked all of our appointments i'm talking eye exams dental visits a physical everything i just got it booked for everyone so I've got my son covered for the year, I've got my husband covered for the year, I've got my newborn covered. I've got all of those dates on my calendar so it's all out of the way and it just feels so good and it makes me feel like I'm on the right track. I think it's a great way to start the new year off feeling like you have your shit together. <laughs> appointments you're gonna need a planner and yes while physical planners are like aesthetically pleasing and feels good to write in I think it's a little bit more realistic to just download a planner app on your phone because your phone is the one thing that you have on you literally all the time using your phone as a planner is great because you can make notes literally anywhere you go or set reminders for yourself anywhere you go because half the time for me personally I know that if I'm out and I make an appointment or someone tells me to remember something for like a week in advance or something, it's just, I immediately forget. Like by the time I'm home, it's gone. The mom brain has taken over. <laughs> it's just, I can't remember anything. I'm a mess. But really, I do love being able to have the mobility with the planner on my phone because I can take notes for any ideas that I get for videos and I can set my reminder for my appointment literally as soon as I book the appointment. <laughs> The next thing that I think is a good way to start off the new year right is something that I'm just gonna call get in touch. Whenever I scroll through my Facebook newsfeed, I will more often than not see a post that someone has shared about, about how people don't message you first and so you're just not gonna bother with them or all your friends stop talking to you after you have kids. Just something to the effect of, this person hasn't talked to me in forever, so I'm not gonna put the effort in. And I encourage you to just erase this from your mind. Like, get rid of that mindset. We're throwing it out in 2020. I think an amazing way to start your year off on the right foot is to go ahead and be the person to reach out to someone that you haven't maybe spoken to in a long time. Be the first one to send a message and just have that initiative. Everybody gets busy, we all have lives, we're all adults, but if you really treasure a relationship, I think you should make the time and send someone a message, even if it's just a, hey, how are things going? Just get the ball rolling, get the conversation started, and maybe even make a plan to meet up. This next one for me is a no-brainer, and I'm in the middle of doing this myself today, actually, and that is decluttering. Honestly, if you want to start the new year off feeling like your best self and like you've accomplished something, like right off the bat, just declutter literally any space in your life. For me right now, the space that I'm decluttering personally is my closet because I'm just in between sizes, obviously, with having been pregnant. <laughs> 
So I've got a lot of clothes that are too big and I've also got clothes that are too small. Half of my clothes are just like falling on the floor out of my walk-in closet. So closet is good, but if you're a mom, I would also recommend considering decluttering your kids' toys. Christmas has just passed and I'm sure that your kids' toys have taken over your living space. So it's a great time to declutter. You'll feel so good just having the extra space. And on top of that, you can feel even greater for this new year if you go ahead and donate the stuff that you've decluttered instead of throwing it out. I find really helps me just kind of set the tone and get in the right headspace would have to be listening to or reading something that is really thought-provoking every single day. I think this is a great habit to form. You really want to stimulate your brain and it's really easy to run out of gas very quickly with all of the resolutions and all of the goal setting. So to really build the momentum and keep things going, I like to listen to TED Talks and podcasts. And if you have the time to read, even just reading like a thought-provoking article on something like science related or, or something about running a successful business, whatever it may be that you're trying to achieve for the year, I think it's really good to surround yourself on the daily with stuff that really hones in on that. For me, I love to listen to motivational TED Talks that just really get the gears turning. Even if it's something as small as just downloading an app for like motivational quotes or something on your phone, I really recommend trying to do this every single day because it just, it keeps you on track. Finally, this is really popular to talk about and that is creating a budget. But to really start the new year off on the right foot, I encourage you to just go beyond create a budget. Instead of just creating a budget and being like, this is my budget, this is what we're doing, <laughs> make an action plan. And what I mean by this is make a plan for how your budget is going to actually happen and how you're going to stick to it. For some people, it's as easy as downloading an app on your phone to track all of your expenses and all of your earnings. There's really good ones like Mint or if you want to like tie it in with your partner, uh, there's one called Honeydew that I use. Or do you need something a little more extreme? I recently was told about a method where you just do everything in cash and put the expenses for each anticipated thing into jars. So that would be groceries, eating out, utilities, and everything gets their own jar. How are you going to make the budget plan work? Start the new year off the right way and have an action plan for everything that you want to get done this year. Not a thought cloud, not a little inspo board. You want to know how you're going to make all of these things happen this year and actually commit to action. Actions. And I think that's it. That's my little pep talk for you guys. <laughs> I hope you guys really got something of value from this video. I tried really hard to think of at least one or two things that not everyone was saying. Let me know down in the comment section below what your New Year's resolutions are. I would love to know. I'm still a little bit undecided on some of mine. Next week I'll probably do a video on my New Year's resolutions. Now that we've wrapped up documenting my pregnancy journey here on my channel, I really need to refocus. I would love it if you stuck around to watch more videos. So thank you guys so much for watching this one and I will see all of you guys next time. Bye!